Hello, uh, today I'm gonna show you how how to build a really cheap uh, under 50 bucks DC power supply um, What I'm gonna use is uh, this pretty good step down uh, converter It's a uh, its name is TPS 3005 uh, it can take um, an input voltage of uh, up to uh, 55 volts I believe uh, where is the box it says here is the box it can be yeah from 6 to 55 volts up to 55 volts input Voltance it, it will regulate it and output uh, up to uh, oh sorry this is for the 5005 for the 3005 three uh, it's up to 40 volts the input it's up to 40 volts and it will output uh, up to 30 volts and 5 amps uh, this this module is pretty famous nowadays uh, Dave on EV blog uh, has already uh, has already uh, made some videos on this uh, of it's he analyzes uh, its characters its uh, its specs and uh, efficiency so uh, we already know that this is a pretty good module uh, if I if I recall uh, correctly, up to 95% efficient, which is really cool for the money. It costs like uh, 30 bucks uh, delivered. Good job, Django. And um, it, it the the cool thing about this thing it's uh, that uh, there is a software it, it can be uh, fully controlled by the computer or even uh, with a Bluetooth and it will regulate the voltage and, uh, and gives a pretty stable and uh, low noise output uh, but that's uh, that's pretty cool for the money. So uh, what I've done so far, it's I I have here I will use uh, an LED um, power supply that will uh, transform the 22 volts for from the uh, wall plug to uh, 24 volts DC. Uh, this power power supply like this costs around uh, 15 bucks or maybe less um, so basically we're gonna take the 24 volts uh, DC output from the main power supply we will give it to this module and it will uh, regulate it and uh, we can control it electronically uh, from here or from the computer software so uh, you can see here that I already connected uh, the the main power of the uh, power supply uh, this this is a ground it will go to the, the ground and uh, the two uh, AC inputs and the switch between them so we're ga it gonna control basically the the AC input on the, uh, the main power supply and then uh, already uh, added uh, the plugs here uh, for the cables uh, an LED that uh, I will connect it and it will uh, light when the uh, when the the main power supply outputs uh, it's 24 volts 
and uh, what we have to do now is we have to to do give the 24 volts to our module so um, those two are uh, the outputs the positive and the negative uh, the last two are positives, two positives and two negatives and we're gonna give voltage to uh, our module so I'm gonna use uh, a chip cable Our module is connected. Holy shit. I put my I put the module upside down. Oh my god. And the only thing that's left Um, the only thing that's left is to connect this uh, this LED with a, um, a 24 volts of the power supply, but uh, I won't gonna do it now because I need to add the resistor but you get the concept I'm gonna just connect it to the 24 volts with uh, a resistor to to two cables and when I turn it on it's gonna light that's it So this is pretty much ready. This is how it will look at the end. And uh, let me close it properly and I will test it. <laughs> 